start with contracting sprites. Chapter 61, End Su so Hao didn't expect that he would actually be that popular. As soon as he entered the lounge, many gazes turned towards him in unison. There was a feeling of being the center of attention. It felt a little good, a little good. Silkworm Baby was sprawled on top of his head. Its front half stood up as it waved its little hand to indicate something. The candidates and a few sprites who weren't sent for treatment walked even faster. Gurgle? Gurgle, gurgle. Don't go, just keep chatting. Su Hao's gaze swept across the room. What was more awkward was that wherever Su Hao looked, even if the candidate sitting there didn't take his leave, he similarly turned his head away. Is there a need for this? Isn't it just eliminating 20 to 40 people? Su Hao touched the tip of his nose, feeling a little helpless. If it weren't for the battle with Bing Ning that damaged Silkworm Baby's condition, he would have gotten more marks at the very least. There shouldn't be just 20 to 30 people. But Silkworm Baby and Little Fire Crow had pretty much exhausted their spiritual force. He was worried that he would bump into another expert, Lin Ming Zheng. Bing Ning is too strong and Lin Ming Zheng, who is relatively famous, is definitely not weak either. Meeting him in his current state won't do any good. The number of candidates who could score had decreased too. Su so Hao decided to enter the finishing point ahead of time. He looked around the lounge. Apart from those who had been eliminated by him, the number of people Su Hao really knew could be counted with one hand. There were only a few first high students he couldn't name. He didn't go over. Instead, he went straight to the ordering point and took a look. His mouth twitched. So there's only broth. He said to the elderly man, Give me three bowls of broad noodles, all big bowls and one without spice. One bowl for himself, one bowl for silkworm baby, and one bowl for little fire crow. The one without spice was for silkworm baby. The elderly man placed the cooked noodles into the bowls. In the huge soup pot beside him, the soup automatically flew up and divided itself into three prongs in the middle. Each of them wrapped a few pieces of meat and flew straight into the bowls. The soup was sparkling and translucent, drawing a beautiful arc in the air, all until the last few drops of soup landed in the bowls. It filled up exactly 90% of the bowls. Su so Hao was puzzled. He was stunned for a moment before realizing that there was a huge, multicolored sea snail in the corner behind the elderly man. A light screen like a rainbow covered the opening of its shell, as if the door was closed tightly. That's. Fairy Snail, Elite Level Plus Plus Characteristics, Nourishment Learned Unique Skill, Water Control Evolutionary Pathway, Little Sea Snail Water Covering Snail Fairy Snail Introduction, Don't Call Me, I Don't Want to Go Out So how didn't expect that the plain looking canteen sir was actually an expert? The bowls of noodles was pushed in front of him, but So how was troubled. Without a tray, he only had two hands. How was he supposed to hold three bowls of noodles? Silkworm baby, it's up to you. Silkworm baby tilted its head and slowly typed a question mark. Su so Hao said, if you can use string shot to carry a computer, isn't it reasonable and logical to use string shot to carry a bowl of noodles? As a sprite of a new era, you have to learn to fully develop the usage of unique skills. Look at how that fairy snail senior used the flowing water broth skill to such perfection. This is what you still have to learn. But Silkworm Baby had other thoughts. It seemed, reasonable. In the end, Su so Hao still didn't let Silkworm Baby perform the bowl noodles acrobatics. He was afraid that if he dropped it, the canteen uncle would teach him a lesson on the spot. He only let Silkworm Baby weave a few strands of silk into a net which hardened and became a net-shaped tray. He then carried three large bowls of noodles to an unoccupied table. Slurp slurp. Gurgle, gurgle. Squawk squawk. After finishing the large bowl of noodles, Su so Hao was almost full. After all, he had gotten enough supplies, and wasn't as desperate as the other candidates, but once the bowl of noodles entered his stomach, he felt much more relaxed. 
After Su Hao finished eating, he leaned against the backrest, squinted slightly, and fell asleep. Silkworm Baby laid on the table and looked around. There was no computer. There was no cell phone. There was no TV either. Awful. After feeling awful for two seconds, it crawled onto Su Hao's body and curled up before falling asleep. Only Little Fire Crow stood on the back of the chair, performing its duty as a guard. After an unknown amount of time, Su Hao woke up feeling refreshed. Then, he ate another bowl of noodles. They could only eat noodles here. He looked at the sky outside. It was gradually turning dark. The joint examination is said to be three days, but in fact, it's only two and a half days. The deadline is at 8 p.m. Staying for another half a day would also lead to the same result. At night, he couldn't even see his fingers in the forest. Even Su Hao didn't dare to travel, let alone those ordinary candidates. At this time of the day, there were a lot more candidates in the lounge. However, only a small number of candidates successfully reached the finishing point. Most of them were eliminated in the second half of the forest and were thus brought here by the sprite trainers from the judges team. The travel-worn Lu Ren trio walked in from the entrance of the lounge. Among the three, Lu Ren looked the most tired. The moment he walked in, he sprawled himself on a chair. Then, he suddenly smelled the fragrance of noodles and walked towards the ordering window like he was sleepwalking. Li Songting was as energetic as ever. He muttered, I think I can still fight for a few more hours. After Gulen Jao walked in, her eyes swept across the hall. There are so few candidates from first high. She murmured. Suddenly, her eyes lit up and she saw Su Hao sitting there alone. She walked over briskly and sat down, then reached her hand out and gestured. Su Hao, who was eating his noodles, looked up and saw a bright smile. He instantly knew that Gu Lin Jao and the other two should be safe. Their grades shouldn't be too bad. How are you guys? Did you meet any tough opponents? Well, she counted with her fingers. I bumped into someone who has two sprites. Lu Ren said that he used to belong to our school, and another one from seeing you in high school. He seems to have a grudge against Lu Ren. But in the end, they were all chased away by us. Right now, our total score is nearly 2,000 points. When distributed evenly, it's more than 600 points. Su Hao, Su Hao, how many marks did you get? Su Hao long forgotten his marks. He could only glance at his sprite commandeering wristband. 4. 4. More than 4, 000. Gu Lin Jao was speechless. There was no way to continue this conversation. As the clock approached eight, the last batch of candidates to reach the finishing point finally stepped into the lounge. The hall was noisy. Su Hao looked at a boy who was surrounded by stars. Next to him was a human-shaped sprite with a hairband on its back. But it was only the size of a five-year-old child. String dolls. It was entry level two. Compared to the fatigue shown on the faces of many sprites that was visible to the naked eye, the hair doll was much more energetic. There were no injuries on its body. Lin Ming Zheng was also smiling confidently. When his gaze swept to the corner and he saw the icicle white seal wrapped in treatment bandages, the smile on his lips became even more confident. At 8 p.m. sharp, melodious music started playing. The group of judges led by Heavenly King Joe and teachers from the various schools walked down the stairs and entered the lounge. Time's up. The joint examination is over. Now, let me announce the final score ranking. Chapter 62, Breakthrough, Entry Stage The lounge turned quiet all of a sudden. After being eliminated, the candidates who knew that they had no hope of getting into the top 100 were dejected. Candidates with hopes of getting into the top 100 craned their necks and waited nervously for the results to be announced. Su Hao also became slightly nervous. His points were indeed quite high. But he heard that there were entry-level wild sprites in the primordial forest. He didn't know how many points he would get from defeating an entry-level sprite. 
What if he got hundreds or thousands of points from defeating just one? What if Bing Ning or Lin Ming Zhang defeated several entry level wild sprites? After all, wild sprites had poor foundations. Even if they could break through to entry level, in terms of battle power, they couldn't be on PAR with sprite trainers' carefully cultivated companions. Su Hao couldn't help but feel nervous about the priceless reward. Only Lin Ming Zheng, who was always surrounded by many of his admirers, remained confident. Heavenly King Zhou said that he was announcing the results. But in fact, he just pressed the button of the projector switch on a remote control to project the next score ranking in the lounge. Top 10 and the top 100. There was no more. The names of the top 10 candidates were written in very large fonts, which could be seen from afar. Lin Ming Zheng looked over with a confident smile. The clearest name that was hanging at the very top like a visual meter was. It's indeed Su. Wait a minute. What Su how? His eyes widened as he read it repeatedly. Then, he finally saw the words Lin Ming Zheng at the bottom left corner of Su Hao's name. It was second place. But how is that possible? If the first place was Bing Ning, he would have accepted it. But who was Su Hao? Lin Ming Zheng, who was too lazy to understand the information of the other candidates, had never heard of this name at all. It's fake, right? He wanted to question it badly but asking this would make him seem too narrow-minded. His gaze swept around as he wanted to wait for the other candidates to raise questions, but he discovered that they seemed to quite agree with this ranking. Lin Ming Zheng was completely stunned. When Su Hao's name resounded throughout the five schools, Heavenly King Zhou awarded honors to Su Hao and the other nine people in the top ten. Su Hao was a little disappointed. Why didn't they get a pure gold trophy? When the time comes, your school will give you a special membership card. This card can be used in place of Dragon Nation currency to buy the cultivation resources you need from subsidiary shops opened by the Union of Sprite Trainers or cooperative groups such as the Green Shade Group. Heavenly King Joe paused for a moment before saying, those who have an Alliance account can also transfer it directly to your account. It's more convenient to buy using it at the Union's shopping center. Bing Ning reported her account silently. Lin Ming Zheng did the same. Su Hao also stated his account. In an instant. The other nine all turned to look at him. In bewilderment. As everyone knew, only official sprite trainers were allowed to register their identities in the union of sprite trainers. Others, even if they had heavenly king level seniors in their families, were not allowed to do that. Whether it was Lin Ming Zheng or the other seven people, they all believed that Su Hao came in first because he scored a lot of marks among the candidates. His real strength could perhaps be labeled as number one under entry level. Only Bing Ning knew that Silkworm Baby's abilities were not inferior to entry level sprites. But it was still not at entry level. How did he get an account? Mr. Su Hao is a registered sprite cultivator. Heavenly King Zhou smiled. Lin Ming Zheng was stunned for half a breath. His eyes went from surprise to disbelief, then to shame and anger. A student of the same level who specialized in the sprite cultivation field actually beat him in the battle? Unforgivable. The heart of attributes or elemental essences rewarded must be determined by yourselves. You can get them tomorrow, Heavenly King Zhou said. Without a doubt, Su so Hao chose wood element. There was no such thing as fire element being rarer than wood element to the precious hearts of attributes, t. They were all priceless treasures anyway. At the moment, compared to little fire crow which was still developing, silkworm baby needed the heart of attributes more desperately. The little guy was also the starter sprite he contracted. Logically speaking, Su Hao had chosen wood element. The next day. Battle Preparation Village. After returning to the village to rest for a night, Su Hao met Bing Ning and Lin Ming Zheng again. Today, the three of them were the only ones who received that valuable reward personally. In a bright room, Heavenly King Zhou, several referees from the referees team and a few teachers from the various schools were all present. The atmosphere was very serious. 
This made Su Hao and the other two novices nervous. Before long, the door opened, and three sprite trainers, dressed in black, walked in. Beside them were three sprites larger than calves. Ground wolves. It was the evolved form of Earth Wolf. Both were elite level. They were escorting three sealed black boxes. This kind of lineup surprised even Su Hao. It was Heavenly King Zhou who spoke, breaking the solemn atmosphere in the room. Come, it's time to reveal the treasures. He walked forward personally and opened the three black boxes. A burst of green, gold, and white light emerged from the three boxes. Among them, the green light was the strongest. After the box was opened, light spread continuously, forming a ball of light nearly a meter in diameter. Inside the ball of light was a jade green leaf about the size of a mouse. This was the heart of attributes. The other two boxes were much smaller. The inside of the golden ball of light had something that looked like a metal fragment in the size of an eraser. The inside of the white ball of light had something that looked like a piece of broken ice, about the size of a metal fragment. I suggest that you let the sprite absorb the heart of attributes right now. Su so Hao understood. From the looks of it, one would understand how precious the heart of attributes was. It was completely not something a newbie sprite trainer could have. Bringing it with him was no different from a child carrying gold through a busy city. But things would be different after it was absorbed. Since they had already used it, even those with ulterior motives could only keep their thoughts to themselves. Su so Hao patted Silkworm Baby's little head. Silkworm Baby ran to the box containing the heart of leaf, its big eyes filled with desire. Just eat it directly. Heavenly King Joe smiled. Silkworm Baby turned and looked at Su Hao. Su Hao nodded. Just eat it in one bite. Gurgle. Silkworm Baby swallowed it in one bite. The heart of attributes and spiritual force resonated and immediately fused in. Waves of green light emerged from Silkworm Baby's body. The patterns on its back became brighter and brighter. In Su Hao's eyes. It looked different again. Silkworm Baby's spiritual force was increasing visibly. Previously, Silkworm Baby's spiritual force was at 176. After completing two small compressions, the third time required 200 spiritual force points. But Su Hao estimated that Silkworm Baby's spiritual force capacity was just at 180, and this was thanks to his signature suction method. It was normal. Sprites that consumed a lot of resources to nurture had their capacity limited at maximum 140 to 150. Su so Hao didn't plan on letting Silkworm Baby complete the third small compression. It was too draggy. At this moment, Silkworm Baby, which was absorbing the heart of attributes, slowly and firmly increased its spiritual force. Soon, it exceeded 180, its speed not decreasing at all. The increase in spiritual force will just come along with the increase in potential. There are no side effects at all. Time passed bit by bit. Under the watchful eyes of the judges and teachers, the frisbee and the white seal quickly absorbed the heart of secondary attributes. Only Silkworm Baby was still emitting green light. At this moment, in Su Hao's eyes, Silkworm Baby's spiritual force had already exceeded 200 points. Its speed started to slow down. At the same time, the little rascal was compressing its spiritual force. As long as the spiritual force reached the standard amount, the problem of how to compress it was just a matter of technique. It was familiar with the route. Under the watch of a Heavenly King level sprite trainer, he completed the third small compression of spiritual force. Heavenly King Joe only felt that the absorption effect of this silkworm baby was a little obvious and it was becoming visibly stronger. At this moment, the green glow on Silkworm Baby's body gradually faded. Yet there an indescribable aura was gradually rising. Heavenly King Joe broke out into a smile and said, It has accumulated a lot and is about to break through. Chapter 63, Green Blue Base Sprites went from novice to entry level. The biggest improvement was the change in state of the sprite's spiritual force. With the same energy ball, 
the newbie sprites could only blast away some stone chips, but entry-level sprites could directly blast an entire rock into pieces. The improvement in skills allowed entry-level sprites to possess pretty good destructive powers. Sprite trainers were only able to register their identities in the union of sprite trainers when they owned entry-level sprites, but it was also a must to register. Every sprite that reached the entry level needed to be recorded in the file. After absorbing the Heart of Attributes, Silkworm Baby's spiritual force limit reached 205. The breakthrough was very natural. When the momentum reached its peak, an invisible wave of air swept across the room. A light green spiritual force halo appeared on Silkworm Baby's body. The white seal and hair puppet, which were standing not far from it, couldn't help but let out low cries. The white seal, which had been hurt before, stared at Silkworm Baby unwillingly for a while, but still retreated a few steps. Meanwhile, the hair puppet turned to look at the white seal, then glanced at Silkworm Baby, who looked like it was not to be trifled with. It immediately retreated like how the white seal did. It even took one more step back. Steadily. How is this possible? Didn't it just merely break through entry level? Why are you so scared? Lin Ming Zheng looked at the imposing silkworm baby. Then, he looked at his timid hair puppet but could only bark in his heart. After silkworm baby broke through entry level, the overflowing spiritual force faded, and its aura gradually converged. Apart from a few other faint waves of spiritual force lights appearing on his body, it wasn't much different from before. But then, Silkworm Baby's evolution could be put on the agenda. The million resource credits in his account was completely enough. Not bad, not bad at all. The more Heavenly King Joe read the situation, the more he admired it. It had been a long time since he saw such an outstanding junior. Especially the cultivation level of this Silkworm Baby and its usage of unique skills. In the cultivation of Silkworm Baby, you are the strongest I've ever seen. The final evolved form of this sprite, the Golden Winged Sky Silkworm, is ranked first in speed and also very lethal. Work hard to cultivate your Silkworm baby into a truly powerful sprite. He praised. At the level of Heavenly King Joe, even if there were sprite trainers present to cultivate Silkworm babies, they would similarly enter the entry level quickly and evolve rapidly. He had indeed never seen such an outstanding Silkworm baby in his life before. This was a praise from a heavenly king. The teachers from all schools looked at Su Hao in a completely different way now. This child's future was limitless. But Su Hao didn't let his pride get to him. It was just a basic operation but the teachers of this batch were too easily surprised. If he turned arrogant now, wouldn't he rise all the way to heaven when Silkworm Baby evolved into Reverie Butterfly sometime in the future? He was a low-key and pragmatic person. Before the joint examination, Heavenly King Joe promised that he would personally provide a surprise reward for the top ten, apart from the rewards provided by the five schools. This reward is not a physical gift, but it has some benefits for your sprites. At the entrance of the village, Heavenly King Joe turned around and told the teachers from each school, I'll show them around the green-blue base and the opposite side of the base as well. I'll send them back before evening. The original plan was to leave after the joint examination. But since Heavenly King Joe said so, the teachers of the various schools naturally wouldn't have any objections. There was even a hint of envy in their eyes as they looked at those ten students. Especially those teachers below elite level. Heavenly King Joe and several sprite trainers from the judges team left with the top ten candidates. Lu Ren and the other ordinary candidates were looking forward to another day of holiday. At this point, a teacher from Affiliated High spoke, Since we have nothing to do, let's start training. Another teacher nodded. It's so rare for us to come to the primordial forest area. It'd be such a waste if we don't make use of it. Especially those students who were easily eliminated, we need more training. Coach Xiong strongly agreed. Why don't we increase the difficulty a little? We can draw a batch of people to enter the forest and launch a surprise attack on them. This will train their ability to respond. If they can't finish the task, 
they shall all eat compressed biscuits tonight. The surrounding candidates were rendered speechless. I can't stay any longer. I want to go home. Go home. At the familiar entrance to the primordial forest area. Heavenly King Joe said, the place we're going to right now is called the Green Blue Base. It's fully known as the Green Blue Wood Element Sprite Breeding Base. The base is located in the center of the primordial area. That's the main part of the base. The primordial area is just a subsidiary part. Sprites were birthed by nature. Mountains, lakes, and plants could all give birth to sprites. But the conditions were harsh, and the time was too long. The number of sprites born on planet Aquamarine at the very beginning was extremely small. After the revival of the special particle called spiritual energy, the number of new sprites increased year by year. However, compared to the huge population, their species were still considered too rare. It was only until a few years ago, when the breeding technology had made a breakthrough. Subsequently, the number of sprites sold by the Sprite Carehouse and Free Ranging Center had increased significantly. Only an ordinary civilian like Su Hao, who was neither European nor rich, had the possibility of becoming a sprite trainer. He was quite interested in visiting the breeding base. This type of base was similar to a military restricted area where only a few descriptions could be found on the internet. Green Blue, Wood Breeding Base, and also the place where Silkworm Baby was born. I wonder if this is considered returning home. So how could also guess where the opposite side of the base Heavenly King Joe previously mentioned was? He was filled with anticipation. However, he looked around and didn't find the helicopter. Did Heavenly King Joe own a flying sprite that could carry many passengers? Heavenly King Joe smiled, waved his hand and drew a huge half circle in front of him. Sprite commandeering, summon. Surging water flowed out and turned into a huge frog as tall as two to three floors. There were dark green stripes on the huge frog's body. The lumps on its back were like springs as they sprayed out water. As soon as it appeared, the ground shook violently, and a strong wind blew past. Su so Hao instinctively raised his hand in front of him to protect himself as he widened his eyes to look. Sea Tide Frog King, Monarch. Contract Target. Joe whipping. Information. Although he didn't see anything, it didn't stop him from being shocked. Apart from being shocked, Su so Hao was also confused. Were they supposed to be the frogmen for once? However, this giant frog looked slippery and was still bubbling with water. It didn't look like it could be ridden. Get ready, we're leaving. As soon as Heavenly King Joe's words fell, Su so Hao discovered that a stream of water lifted him up. In the blink of an eye, he had risen to a height at dozens of meters. There were also piercing screams from several girls and boys. Huge waves flew over the primordial forest area, shaking all the sprites below. A howling wind blew towards them. Only Heavenly King Joe stood upright at the front of the wave. After some time. Finally, he felt that he was standing on solid ground again. Shivering, Su so Hao held onto a tree beside him to stabilize himself. His peripheral vision swept across the surroundings, only to see a few candidates slumped on the ground with lifeless eyes. We're here at the Green Blue Base. Chapter 64 Stepping on the Land of the New World Gurgle The trembling silkworm baby grabbed his trousers and started climbing up. There were a few times when it couldn't grip properly and slipped down. The little guy looked a little dizzy. Little Fire Crow, which was in an even more miserable state, had already fallen onto the ground like a leaf. The sprites of the other candidates were only from the water element so their conditions were slightly better. Su so Hao saw a little charcoal tortoise hiding in its shell, refusing to come out no matter what. Heavenly King Joe witnessed everything and smiled knowingly. As the Heavenly King of Treading Waves, he was completely capable of leading these students here in a more stable way. But the impact of simplicity and brutality was greater. It could also motivate them to improve. He believed that these potential students wouldn't be intimidated. The gates of the base had long been opened. There was a tall wall outside the base, 
with surveillance cameras installed everywhere. There were also a lot of firearms that Suhao had never seen in real life before. Weapons such as light machine guns and heavy machine guns were hung all over the base. Although it was not really considered a sentry every three steps, this was clearly a military base. Inside the base, there weren't that many dark weapons lying around. Suhao and the other newbies finally relaxed themselves. This is the area in the base where sprites are birthed. We adopted different methods according to the different types of sprites. A base manager introduced the place. From afar, the places where sprites were birthed looked like greenhouse sheds. Through the transparent glass, one could see rows of plants inside. There were different types of buds, vines and willows, moss, etc. Wood element sprites are birthed from these plants. For example, the sprites birthed in the area where the vines are wrapped around are vine snakes. The green-blue, wood element mainly nurture 18 common wood element sprites, as well as a small number of relatively rare wood element sprites. But even with some breakthroughs in technology, the number of sprites that we can breed every year is still very small. There's still a very long way to go before sprites become a household with thousands of families. A candidate suddenly asked, why don't you increase the number of greenhouses? He discovered that there were still quite a lot of vacant areas in the base. Besides, couldn't the base be expanded? The annual income of the sprite breeding base should be very high, right? Although this student didn't say those thoughts out loud, the base administrator had a rough idea of what he was thinking about. He shook his head. Apart from technical methods, there is another more important condition for sprites reproduction and that is the geographical environment. The green-blue base is located at the center of the primordial area, and there are only a limited number of sprites that can be nurtured in this area. Twenty-one large sheds are already the limit. Building too many of them will instead affect the speed at which sprites are nurtured. The manager paused for a moment before continuing, you should have noticed that many trees have crystallized in the primordial area. This is a regional mutation phenomenon. The reason this phenomenon exists is related to the blending of the two worlds. You're right. There's a new world entrance inside the green-blue base. A new world. To Suhao, this was a term that was neither unfamiliar nor familiar. It wasn't unfamiliar because he knew about the existence of the new world. He had bought some rare resources and was also rewarded with the Heart of Attributes and Elemental Essences at the Joint Examination. The origin of these items was most probably from the New World. He had never heard of any place where treasures could be born in the wild on planet Aquamarine. But there is very, very little information about the New World. Within the Sprite Union's website, Su Hao couldn't even access the section regarding the New World with his Level 2 privileges right now. They only know that the new world is a place where danger and opportunities coexist. Only elite level sprite trainers were qualified to explore the new world. Then why not build the breeding base in the new world? Is it because it's too dangerous there? Some candidates continued to ask like curious babies. The manager shook his head again. There are indeed dangers, but they are not the main reason. There is only one reason only the sprites bred on planet Aquamarine would get close to us, making it easier to create contracts. It's not that sprites born in a new world can't be contracted, it's just very difficult. How difficult is it? Just think about the wild sprites in the primordial area. Those sprites were born in the new world. So how and the other candidates understood? Sprites that weren't native naturally had a repulsive and aggressive nature towards them. This information was something they couldn't understand in the past. Even Bing Ning and Lin Ming Zheng. Su Hao was similarly surprised when he saw their faces. The group walked past the transparent greenhouses. Su Hao suddenly stopped in his tracks and looked at the large shed that looked like mulberry trees not far away. Silkworm baby sprites are birthed over there, right? That's right. Heavenly King Joe glanced at the silkworm baby on top of Su Hao's head. If you contracted this sprite of yours in the province, then it's very likely that it was born here. Supervisor Zhou, bring them in for a tour. 
The manager surnamed Zhou was stunned for a moment before realizing. Heavenly King Zhou specially allowed them take a close look at Silkworm Baby's breeding area because of a candidate. Who was that candidate? Heavenly King Zhou's son? No, that's not right. Supervisor Zhou heard it just now. That candidate's surname was Su. Could it be? He was actually Heavenly King Zhou's son-in-law. Otherwise, why would Heavenly King Zhou specially take care of a student? Supervisor Zhou felt that he had just discovered the truth. After observing Silkworm Baby's incubation area for a long time, Su Hao didn't discover anything special. Because the sprites in this season hadn't matured yet. Ah, no, they hadn't been birthed yet. There was no way to see the magical scene of sprites just being born. The only gain was his intelligence points increasing by five. It wasn't that bad. On the other hand, Silkworm Baby laid on the transparent glass and stared at it with big, watery eyes for a very long time. That supervisor Zhou didn't have any objections nor did he urge it. He looked pretty easy to talk to. After coming out of the breeding area, they continued to walk towards the inside of the base. As expected, they were going to travel to the New World for half a day. After passing through several security checks, they stopped in front of a huge alloy door. In front of the gate stood two sprite trainers with cold expressions as well as two elite leaf blade warriors. Defender Joe. When they saw Heavenly King Joe, their faces were filled with respect. However, they still carried out their duties and got Heavenly King Joe to show them the relevant documents. Fill in your names and schools. Su Hao and the others followed his instructions. A moment later, the alloy door slowly opened. It revealed the inside. It was a very spacious, sealed room. Black cannon muzzles reached out from the surrounding walls. The ground was made of concrete, but in the central area, there was a lawn that looked out of place. It was jagged irregularly at the junction with the concrete. Su Hao was a little stunned. It was different from the gate or space passage he had imagined. Let's go. Heavenly King Zhou led the walk. Su Hao stared intently. He saw that Heavenly King Zhou's figure disappeared when he stepped onto the lawn. Under the urging of the sprite trainers stationed around, Su Hao didn't dawdle any further. He walked over step by step and finally stepped into the lawn. In an instant, his vision became much brighter. Green Blue Base's big reward, one silkworm baby needs three recommendation votes and three silkworm babies need ten recommendation votes, hurry and vote now. Chapter 65, New Source of Intelligence Points The piercing sunlight shined through the skylight. Su Hao raised his hand to shield himself from the rays, and then, he lost his balance and fell. Silkworm Baby rolled down from the top of his head. Lying on the ground with its eight short legs facing upwards, it made a dissatisfied cry. Bang! Next to him, a figure appeared and rolled out as though he had used a rolling unique skill. Before long, the lawn at the entrance was filled with people. Only Heavenly King Joe stood somewhere nearby. Su Hao glanced at the two boys who were rolling together in a ball not far away, then glanced at the girls who were sitting in an indecent manner. He peeked at them again for a second before he quickly stood up. If he took a photo of them, it would definitely be a series of their dark histories. After standing up, Su Hao stepped on the ground again. He didn't feel any different. It was just that his chest was still a little tight. He couldn't understand why he had suddenly fallen flat on the ground just now. The New World is generally consistent with our planet Aquamarine's gravity, climate, and composition of space. This point has already been verified through research. We, the people of the Blue Ocean planet, can survive in the New World without any obstacles. But some symptoms of not acclimating to the environment will surface more or less, you'll get used to it. Balance problem? You'll get used to it after walking around the entrance a few more times. Su Hao always felt that this kind of adaptation method was too simple and crude. Only then did he have the time to look around. The place they were situated at was a huge stadium. Through the skylight, they could see the blue sky. 
what he was stepping on was a neatly trimmed lawn. In the middle of the lawn was a concrete field exactly the opposite of the one they had just come from. They couldn't see the scene of black holes with cannon muzzles on the opposite side. Inside the entrance building. The muscular man who was registering his identity smiled and greeted Joe Whipping. Heavenly King Joe, you're bringing in newbies again. To the spiritual spring. Heavenly King Joe nodded and exchanged a few pleasantries. With Heavenly King Joe protecting them, there's definitely no need to worry about their safety. Hopefully, one or two experts can emerge from these little guys. Yeah, the environment now. Heavenly King Joe seemed to have thought of something as he sighed imperceptibly. After walking out of the building that covered the entrance, Suha realized that this place couldn't be called a base anymore. It was more appropriate to call it a small town. Both sides of the road stood low-rise but particularly strong-looking houses. Although their exteriors looked rough, judging from the signs hanging outside the houses, this street was a commercial street. Suha saw Gate-type Herb Store, Granny Chaos Noodle Restaurant, Steam Lobster Shower Center and other small shops that he didn't know where to start complaining about. There were also Sprite Medical Center and Green Shade Supermarket, which he was familiar with, but they were also much more simple and crude. A few watchtowers and city walls could be seen situated further away. He didn't see any cars. He heard that they were related to the environment and magnetic fields of the New World. However, the streets were very spacious and were enough to accommodate a large ton of sprites. There weren't many pedestrians, all of whom were sprite trainers with sprites. Some charmingly naive, soft, and cute sprites also exuded a murderous aura. This was the New World. Outside the town stood a lush forest, even more lush than the primordial forest area. The whole town was built in the forest. Heavenly King Joe brought them to a stop outside the town. The Sea Tide Frog King was not with him. The overly large sprite was left behind in the green-blue base by Heavenly King Joe. But he summoned another water-type monarch rank sprite tide calling Spring Sprite. This sprite was completely formed by dark blue water streams. Its face was blurry, but its figure looked like an elegant woman. It released its monarch rank aura and led the group, scaring the wild sprites away from afar. Aren't you curious about what a spiritual spring is? Of course, Heavenly King Joe could see that they were full of doubts as he explained, although the New World is similar to our planet Aquamarine in many aspects, the concentration of spiritual force here is much higher. The number of sprites born here is also countless times more than ours. Apart from sprites, it is also easy for special treasures to be born in the New World, such as elemental essences, elemental hearts, and spiritual springs that can produce special spring water. At this point, the eyes of quite a few people lit up. They couldn't help but look around. Silkworm Baby, which was lying on top of Suhao's head, leaped out at once and ran towards a pretty flower. Gurgle, gurgle. Suhao held his forehead and said, That's worthless. Gurgle. Silkworm Baby pointed in another direction and asked. Heavenly King Joe smiled and shook his head, saying, All the treasures around the town have been dug up twenty to thirty years ago. The only thing left now is the renewable spiritual spring. Of course, you can still occasionally encounter ordinary cultivation resources. The little rascal couldn't contain itself any longer. So how could only look around? then point his finger in a direction for Silkworm Baby. The light yellow figure dashed towards a patch of grass and pulled out a bright yellow flower. That is a mist flower. Heavenly King Joe was a little surprised when he saw it. He couldn't help but look back at Su Hao. It wasn't any rare treasure, but it had some value. It could be used for training the unique skills from the illusion type. Heavenly King Joe remembered that Silkworm Baby had once used stunning. It seemed that Su Hao's achievements today were definitely not by chance. To recognize something as unorthodox as the dense fog flower that was hard to identify, it was clear that he had put in countless times more effort than ordinary people. Su Hao agreed. He was trying hard to get used to it when a clear and pleasant reminder sounded in his mind. 
Intelligence points plus one. Intelligence points plus one. Intelligence points plus one. There were simply too many new things here, and all of them were related to sprites. This constantly provided him with intelligence points. Su so Hao tried hard to suppress his laughter. He stared at the interface. Other than sprites, there were also other signs on the map nearby. For example, the fog flower. But very few. If I can explore the new world myself. Su Hao believed that he would get double the joy of intelligence points and resources. Unfortunately. That was impossible. He knew it in his heart. The journey was calm because it was near the town. It was also because of Heavenly King Joe's tide calling Spring Sprite. If not for the risk of being attacked by wild sprites, why would Heavenly King Joe waste his soul power summoning the tide calling Spring Sprite? Silkworm Babies, Underling, Little Fire Crow, grabbed a few mist flowers with its claws and flapped them about. The light yellow figure ran around, occasionally looking back at the appraiser, Su Hao. Silkworm Baby could only sigh when it was told that they were all worthless things. Soon, they arrived at their destination. At the location of the spiritual spring. There were no sprite trainers stationed around, but there was a solid alloy building covering the spiritual spring inside. When Su Hao and the others arrived, they happened to see an entry-level vine snake. It spewed out granule machine guns of its mouth hitting the outer walls of the alloy building with a bang but it only managed to hit some of the moss covering it away. Viney Snake tried to enter but to no avail. It circled around the building impatiently until it sensed the terror of the tide-calling spring sprite. With a whoosh, it dived into the grass and disappeared. Heavenly King Joe ignored the wild sprite. He took out the key and opened the door before turning around to wave. All of you, come on in.